I think it starts with the kid. Uh, if the kid is driven and they want to be a professional soccer player, that's where it has to start. This is a challenging place if that's not what your goal is because you're going to be around players who have that goal to be a professional athlete. So you're around people who are going to challenge you or are going to push you every single day. There's not one linear path for every player. Some players go from the U15s to the U17s to the pros. Some go from the 15s to the 17s to college to the pros. You know, we believe that every player who earns the opportunity to, to come into our, under our roof here in Harriman has the potential to one day run out the tunnel at Rio Tinto Stadium. Good ball back post. Yes! Orison back on top. And it's Tate Schmidt again. Players like Jordan Allen now work in our academy. And Tate Schmidt and Andrew Brody and Aaron Herrera and Justin Glad and Eric Holt are our mainstays on the first team. And the fact that their locker room is 100 yards away from the academy locker room, if that, is, is pretty exciting. Getting moved up to the 17s, to trying out with the Monarchs, then to MLS Next Cup, where we went there and won it all. I mean, just like to spend every day with like your best friends in the academy doing what you love. I mean, it's just the best. Everything is under this roof in Harriman. You know, on site here we have our residential academy, which houses just over 50 academy players. We have our professional teams in Real Monarchs, which plays in MLS Next Pro. And then we have Real Salt Lake, the first team, of course, which plays in, in MLS. And then coupling that with the fact that we have an on site academy high school as well, where our boys walk across the street to attend high school. It's a complete experience, um, again, not just in soccer, but just in developing as young men. I gotta make sure that the students are taking the right courses, that they're passing their classes, and that they're getting the support that they need. So if they need additional tutoring, I find that um, resources for the student. I work with their teachers, I work with the counselor. I talk about college preparation, which colleges they're interested, what are the requirements that they need to do to actually attend that college. I help them out with the college application when it's time, when it's needed. We want our students to not have below a certain GPA, so we do have certain requirements. If there's a student who is struggling, then my goal is to help the student progress to be where the student needs to be. When I train with the pro teams, obviously I miss a bunch of bunch of school, but it's they're so flexible with my work. It just makes it really easy. And then I'll go with Roxy, who helps me out a lot to keep my grades up after training. I think school is here set up perfectly because we'll have training, we'll be, we'll, we have plenty of time to get dressed, do what we want to do and then we'll go straight to school and then we'll just chill all day in school, do our work and then do train again. So well, that's my goal is to build a student's resume so when they actually apply to colleges, they, are, uh, they can stand out more and they'll be able to have those opportunities that they want. When we look at our, our slogan, as one, I mean, that's really it. And we are this family, very family oriented club, which I think any player coming here will feel that. They'll feel like there's a family here. You know, when you ask a, a 12, 13 year old, uh, what's your dream club? You know, what is your dream goal uh, when playing soccer? You know, and they usually say Manchester United or Chelsea or Arsenal or Real Madrid. And the fact is that's okay. Uh, we want that dream to be a reality for, for that boy as well. We just believe we are best suited to be the, the next step in getting to that end goal, to that dream. We want all of our players to go through our pathway to, to run out the tunnel at Rio Tinto Stadium to be successful like a Justin Glad or like an Andrew Brody and Aaron Herrera and then to go on, if appropriate, to, to a bigger, grander opportunity. Now we have a direct connection to clubs all over the world and having seven clubs within our global ecosystem uh, certainly makes all those possibilities more of a reality and it makes those dreams for all of those players even closer. 1A, academics, 1B, emotional support, and then we get to the soccer, and we have the resources, the coaches, the facilities, the mentorship to make sure that they're gonna be successful. So what I would tell a parent is, it starts with your kid. Is this the best place for them? Is this what they want to do? If it is what they want to do, we'll take care of you academically, we'll take care of you socially, and at the end of the day, your football is gonna improve because that's what we want for these kids is to be the best soccer players they can be.